Hello, elementary school students across America and on United States military bases around the world. This is Michael T. Mondak Reads. I'm the eponymous Michael T. Mondak. Thank God it's Friday. And I'm again reading one picture book virtually to you, your parents, and your teachers. I like to start with a little teaser as to what I'll be reading. Here it is for this Friday. We're told to think up big things, but sometimes thinking big can land us in trouble. A young she-cat tried to think big things and ended up getting in tr trouble. And, uh, and her brother needed to help her. And then after which she, he scolded her. It's part of the Dr. Seuss storyline of a story called The Glunk That Got Thunk. I will be taking on the role of Brother Cat, who narrates the story. Let's go. A thing my sister likes to do some evenings after supper is sit upstairs in her small room and use her thinker upper. She turns her thinker upper on. She lets it softly purr. It thinks up little friendly thing, things with smiles and fuzzy fur. She sometimes does this by the hour. Then when she's tired of play, she turns on her unthinker and unthinks things away. Well, one evening she was thinking up some fuzzy little stuff. And sister said, this stuff's all right, but it's not fun enough. I've got to think up bigger things. I'll bet I can, you know. I'll speed my thinker up or up as fast as it will go. Think, think, she cried. Her thinker up or gave a snorty snore and started thunk, thunk, thunking as if it, it never had before. With all her might, her eyes shut tight. She cried, thunk, thunk, some more. Then blunk, her thinker up her thunk, a double clunker clunk. My sister's eyes flew op open, and she saw she thunked a glunk. He was greenish, not too cleanish, and he sort of had bad breath. Good gracious, gasped my sister. I have thunked up quite a mess. She turned on her unthinker, tried to think the glunk away, but she found that her unthinker didn't seem to work that day. The glunk just smiled and said, Dear child, you can't unthunk a glunk. Ask anyone. They'll tell you that a glunk can't be unthunk. I'm here to stay forever. In your lovely, lovely home. And now with your permission, dear, I'll use your telephone. I call my mother every night. It gives her such great joy. She lives 9,000 miles away, and I'm her only boy. Long distance is expensive, sister cried. Get off that line. But the glunk dial text a cut, one, two, three, four, oh, nine. Hello, dear mother, gabbed the glunk. I hope you're feeling fine. And don't worry about the phone bill. It's all paid by a friend of mine. Just called you up to tell you how I love you. Oh, I do. And today I did some cooking. And I cooked some glunker stew. Let me tell you how I did it. You may want to make some too. You take a cup of applesauce. You add a pinch of straw. Drop in 14 oysters. Seven cooked and seven raw. You beat it to a frazzle with a special frazzle spade. You pour it in a rubber boot half filled with lemonade. Then you toss it in the mixer or you spuggle it and spin it. Stop, my mother, sister yelled. This costs $10 every minute. Money? Puh. The glunk just laughed. Don't think of things like that. Then he said, now, darling mother, let me see. Where was I at? Oh. 
You take it off the mixer when the stew is nicely pink. Then you add a hunk of something. A hunk of chuckaluck, I think. Then you chuck in chunks of chiclets. Then you plunk in seven cherries. And then you plunk in, mother dear, three different kinds of berries. Now, mother dear, mine, please do this, right? Those berries that you're plunking, unless you plunk them with great care, will keep the stew from glunking. Stop! Stop! My little sister screamed. It's not a funny joke. My father can't afford this call. My father will go broke. Now you keep still, the glunk snapped back. He kicked her in the shin. Don't you interrupt my mother while she's plunking berries in. Now mother, plunk one berry. Blue. Now, plunk one berry. Raz. What's that? You have no raspberries? Oh, everybody has. But if you don't have berries raz, a schnutz berry will do. You have a schnutz. I know you have. Now plunk it in the stew. And he went on talking berries with his dear old darling mother. He jabbered and he blabbered one whole hour. And then another. He talked $300 worth. My sister shook with fright. Just glunk my cost us millions. He might jabber on all night. My father will be ruined. We'll be penniless. We're sunk unless I can unthunk him. Oh, I must unthunk this glunk. And that is how I found them. She was standing there unthunking. The glunk still talking glunker stew. That glunk was not unglunking. Could she unthunk the glunk alone? It's very doubtful weather. So I turned on my unthinker. We unthunked the glunk together. And then I gave her quite a talking to about her thinker-upper. Now, she only thinks up fuzzy things in the evening. After supper. And that, boys and girls, is where we conclude this story and for this week. Enjoy the weekend, and I'll see you back here on Monday, same time. Same channel.